guys, I'm TJ, on behalf of Mako Sports. So I'm gonna show you my gear bag. So for starters, it's this big like red bag. That was special, but for my cleats, I normally have two pairs of cleats in my bag, but right now I just have one. So these are some Mercurial Vapor Superflies. Um, nothing special about these. I really like soccer cleats for wax because um, there's no toe spike, as you can see. So it's a lot easier to get speed and also has glass fiber on the bottom so you get a little bit of spring. And they're really, really light too, so no complaints there. For my other cleats, I just have some football cleats with dinosaur claws in them for when the weather is really, really bad. So now let's get into this. So I'll start with um, just some junk. For my arm pads, I really like these. These are the Gate Recons uh, Arm Pads 2014 Edition. Uh, they have a buckle which is really, really nice. Um, floating elbow cap. So when I put it on my um, arm and I bend it, um, the elbow cap stays in place. Obviously two of those. <laughs> uh, my backup arm pads that I wear. I really only wear these when it's cold outside just because they're so long, but these are OG cells. Um, they have the isoblex, isoblox technology, which really works actually. Um, the only thing I don't like about these is that they slide a lot because they have no grip or anything on the inside to keep them there, but yeah, they just have two Velcro straps there to keep them secure. Uh, my gloves, um, Gate, Recon Pros, these are pretty nice. Brandon actually used to have some of these, but not anymore. But yeah, all white Gate Recon Pros. Um, it was a bit weird when I got this other package because normally on the regular ones it says Recon Pro on this, but for some reason it doesn't. But I don't think you'll be able to see it, but on the cuff and on the pointer finger, there's a snakeskin pattern. And on the rest of the gloves, there's just um, a matte finish. But other than that, um, these aren't real vents. Your vents are on the inside of the glove. Um, you can see there's like little holes in the gloves. Those came like that. And there's a little bit of gnash on the fingers, which is really, really nice when it's hot outside because you get a lot of grip. And then there's some fake leather too. Um, that's nice and one, one thing I like um, that a lot of people don't seem to like um, I keep saying um, I, have, <laughs> I have a really tight piece of cross lace here to keep the wrist tight so that they I feel very secure when I have these on and it's on both of them the pink string I really like those gloves on my arm pad or shoulder pack excuse me I have these vapors Vapor, vapor, elite. vapor Elite shoulder pads. I don't even know if they make these anymore. Um, they're really nice. They fit really well. Um, these are liners too. They're crazy light. And when you have them on, you don't really realize you have them on. But it's just a Velcro strap. Very thin padding, but then again, as I play MIDI, I don't get checked on the shoulders too much. So this is really all I need. My CPXR, I got this last summer and I really, really like it with um, lax wax decals. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but um, when I rock this helmet, I have a good bit of tilt so you can kind of see the Stringer Shack sticker. Um, other than that, it fits really well. Good ventilation, really, really nice tilt. Uh, it's matte gray with a chrome face mask and matte gray chin. I think this was 220 bucks last year. Um, just got a few extra things in here. Howie's hockey tape. Unnecessary. Can't fucking go wrong with Howie's hockey tape. <laughs> I got a mouthpiece in here. It's just red. It has a strap piece that I can take off, which I normally do take off. Um, face off knee sleeve that I just got. It slides on, it's pretty tight. But um, I need it because, I, as a, like I said, I go knee down when I face off. And this one is a, um, a McDavid one, and it has like the hex pattern on there, so it looks kind of like a honeycomb. So on the inside, it has like these little honeycomb pads, and they're all individually um, separate. So that means when you have them on your knee, they flex around your knee, which feels really good. And the padding's pretty thick too, so it does its job. Keep a heavy racket trainer in my bag now for when I'm practicing by myself. A ball. You should always have one of those in your bag. Cliff bar. 
Yeah. I have some extra head screws. Um, a wrist strap for when my wrist is acting up. Um, lax wax tube. Um, I normally use lax wax when it's cold outside. So I can get a little bit more grip on my stick. Um, I have some extra feet tips in here. These aren't done at claws, these are just regular feet tips. Nothing special about these, but I'm sure it's you. They look like this. Or might not. Yes, it's fine. But yeah, these just screw in to my other cleats. And then I always keep some sidewall in my bag. This is a stringer shack, red with black um, striker. And then my penny. This is the one I have right now, but this one is a Sabre. I think this is my last fall ball team. And then it's reversible with navy and white. And my number 16, of course. Yeah. So for my stick bag, guys. Um, this one's my backup, kinda. It's an Under Armour, Under Armour Vital with lag string 5x soft mesh, three straights of nylon, uh, nine diamond top string. Um, this mesh is really, really soft. I don't like this mesh that much as the one I have in my superpower, but it works. And this is on a Maverick H2 with, I have a ring for my finger when I cradle. And then normally I had this ring between the M and the B, but now I don't. Um, it's just a shooting ring. And then I think a third up the shaft, I do a zigzag and I have a little bit of a, a little tiny butt in. And just a rubber butt. Other than that, I like this stick. Um, decent whip, okay shot power, pocket sits kind of mid. Is uh, is that the butt end from the um, these are, these are string, string doctor, stick right? doctor? Yeah, yeah, that's fast thinking. Um, the channel is not that great because I've been using it for a while, but the vital is a pretty nice head. Um, it's not too well known. Nice uh, ball stop too, but yeah, my gamer right now. Has a pretty decent flex too. Yeah, it actually does have a pretty nice flex. Um, I'll start from the button. I got an alpha lacrosse button. You just kind of threw it on there. Let's see if I can get this. Might not. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of got it. It's good. All right. And then I have a tape ring. This one's a little bit more defined. I like it because it's a little bit taller. I'm um, coming from really, really tall buttons, but that just added a ton of weight. So I'm just trained from that. Then I have six inches up. Um, or a third up the shaft, I have a zigzag. This is also on a Maverick H2. And it has the tape ring between the M and the A, which I like. I normally measure that from, I go elbow on the ball, on the button and into my ring finger. And that's where I normally shoot. And also like this stick, it has a, a ring or two rings and the spot for me to put my finger in when I cradle. And this is on an OG Proton Power. It feels really weird saying it's an OG Proton. Super, super power. Super power. <laughs> yeah, I got that wrong. It's an OG super power. It feels really weird saying that though, but I mean, the new one just came out. Other than that, I think this is a really nice head still. Really nice flex. Um, good enough number of solo holes for me at least. It's kind of got this kind of mid baggy pocket with two straights and two stack nylons. Nine diamond triangle top string. Uh, okay channel when I shoot kind of wide though but I like that though because when you have a wider channel you get a quicker release uh, double connection bottom string to keep the pocket from the backing too much other than that I like this stick a lot good snap good accuracy black from a 5x semi soft mesh I think this is a 20 mil variant by the way um, it works pretty well and then lax room level weight shooters very consistent release too other than that that's my gear back guys Bang. <laughs>